hello everybody this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts and today I have a sneak peek for you guys and this sneak peek comes to us from Lazy River Crafts and this image will be available on I can't wait to show it to you so this is kind of like the pre-box so it doesn't have the image on the end like it normally would because this one was a sneak peek box kind of like the sample uh sent ahead of time uh, and this is coming from Lazy River Crafts and Steph said this image will be available for order on Wednesday uh and that is Wednesday the 22nd of November uh when she has her uh Black Friday uh uh, shopping available uh, and uh, I believe I'm not sure exactly what she's doing for her Black Friday sale but I know I've heard that like 20 people who order on Black Friday uh, for her uh, the sale that she's gonna be running and what whatever the sale is that she's doing and but, but for the part of what she's doing is on uh, anything that you purchase 20 people will get a Lazy River wood turning pen with their order. If only 20 people order, then everybody gets a pen. If more than 20 people order, then you will be uh, randomly entered in and uh, 20 of those people will get a pen. If less than 20 people order, then there's a chance that you could be entered in to win more than one pen. So that just means order. So you get the chance for a Lazy River Wood Turning pen. Woo! So super exciting. So we're going to get in and see what this beautiful image is. I've seen an image of the artwork, but I have yet to see what the render or anything looks like. So I'm super excited for this because this is right up my wheelhouse of what I'm trying to get like my um, favorite type of artwork, my aesthetic of everything, kind of what I want it all to be. That's what we're looking at with this. So we're going to go ahead and get this opened up see is there anything else in, ooh, there's something else in the box we're gonna open it from the end so oh looks like we got a pack of mermaid stickers and it looks like these have crystals those large fun crystals on them the different sizes so that is super fun so this is a pack of mermaid stickers included in this box so now we get the cat hair off of this are gonna go and break into this so usually when there's a larger canvas from uh steph uh from the supplier that they use that she uses you end up getting like two of the uh, plastic dust covers kind of like taped to each other like this that you can then kind of like peel off uh, I'm going to just kind of go from the end here. Uh, so we're going to kind of open it up. Bum, 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 bum. And we are going to take a look. So we do have two. Uh, and they usually include two of the uh, sheets here. So you've got your uh, pen You've got your pen right here. I'll open this up. It looks like we've got tweezers in the one. You've got your pen. You've got your boat. You've got your wax. So pen, boat, wax. You've got multi-placers. Looks like the thicker multi-placers. It looks like a two or three and then a ten placer. Sharp tweezers, stabby tweezers there. And, and then just a regular toolkit with no tweezers here. So toolkit with tweezers and a toolkit without tweezers. That's what we have there. I'm not going to open them up because uh, they're a basic toolkit. Um, and then we're going to kind of break into this. And it looks like we have 45 colors. All right. So there are 45 colors in here. And this is a sticker sheet. It is not pre-cut labels. Uh, so, but this is a sticker sheet. So you will have to, there we go. So it is sticker paper, as you can see right there. So when you're kidding up, you will have to uh, like cut the labels right here, uh, but it gives you plenty of space there. And then if you wanted to cut just the symbol, or you can do the symbol and the DMC. I'll do symbol and a DMC, because that's just how I work. But we have 45 colors. And then in that, we've got one, two, three, four ABs, it looks like. So let's go ahead and look at this. And it will be squares. If you're seeing, there's a little sneak peek of our image there. All right. So you also get an inventory sheet right here. 
So this will kind of give you an idea of how many you should have. So this is kind of nice to have this as well as your actual sticker sheet over there. And then if you wanted to, you could just run this one through your Xyron sticker maker if you wanted to, if you preferred this size to that size, because these are a little bit smaller. But the other one, you do have all of your stickers for your sticker sheet. And we have the 45 colors. So I'm going to set that off to the side. And they are in the baggies. And it looks like they were in order, but I kind of like rumpled them and they ended up kind of out of order. So that's kind of typical for me uh, to end up kind of getting things out of order. Uh, that's pretty typical for me. Uh, so we're going to kind of run through these. So you can see these beautiful colors. So we have a 798 and I love that it, when it shows the weight like this, cause that tells me which, uh, like which container of my Elizabeth Ward containers to get them up into. But look at that beautiful blue. So look at those drills, nice faceted tops there. Those look beautiful. Like, I love that. That's great. So there's our 798. Oh, look at that color, 3705, 3801, 3340, that's a great color, 3328, 3325, 3072, 3041, 820, 913, 758, 722, 799, 977, 989704. That's like one of my all time favorite colors ever. Then we go into 3799, 3761, 3752, 826, 797, 796. Big bag of 775. Look at that. That is a nice big bag. And I love how beautiful the in faceted these like lighter color is right through here. And those are some nice flat backs that I'm seeing. You see a couple random ones here and there, like right there. There's one with a little uh, speck on it, but I can't tell if that's a speck on the drill or if that's that. Nope, that was just the bag. I was looking at a, the bag, defect on the back. 809, 471. 469-519-318-355-351-415. Big bag of 822 with a couple interlopers in there. That's a big bag. 164. Oh, it's a gorgeous color. 165. And then we have 907, another beautiful color. 893. 3853. 3833, 3838, 677, 800. Now we're going to get into our last few. Oh, that's going to make me super happy. All right, big old bag of 3770. That's a huge bag. And now we're going to get into our ABs. You guys are not going to believe this. So AB996, gorgeous. A nice bag of that. AB666, I love that. Then we have AB701. Oh, I love these 700 series of greens. The 701 to like, oh, love those. And then look at this big old bag of AB5200. I love ABs. Uh, this big bag of AB5200, beautiful. Love it. Some people don't like ABs and they don't like placing ABs. I don't mind it. You find your putty that's kind of like a drier, non-sticky putty and that works well for me. And I have no issues placing it. So we're going to go ahead and take care of these drills and I am going to put them back in their bag and flip this canvas over and we're going to see this image and go from there. But we're going to keep the ABs out so we can check them out and where they're going to go on this kit. So we will get into it. Now we are going to go ahead and turn this over and take a look at these ABs. All right, let's see where is the top of this. All right, we are right here. Okay, you guys ready for this? I have not even had to roll it. I just let this canvas sit and we're gonna take a, oh, I am super, super excited for this artwork. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. That's going to be beautiful. Wow. Okay, I am in love. Love it even more in person than the art that I saw. So there you can see the size. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay, so let me give you some of the details in the tour of this canvas. So this is going to be called 
the storm the storm god by karen yumi lusted and this is a beautiful samurai with a couple dragons well more than one dragon you have a few different dragons all around it you've got one two three four five dragons that you see around here with a couple red dragons kind of shadow red dragons in the fire kind of behind him and here is this beautiful samurai warrior so the storm god and this beautiful water behind him so this is by lazy river crafts you have the branding right here lazy river up at the top with the logo you have the lazy river crafts right here lazy river diamond paintings you have right here the image schematic right there with a little uh, small image there. It says the size 60 by 83 centimeters. This is a square diamond painting. You have the legend on the side right up here. It has 45 colors. Um, they don't separate and do the ABs separated out. At the bottom, the ABs are kind of spread throughout, so you kind of, but they're marked and annotated AB. So you have AB 666, AB 701. And then you come down and you have AB996 and then AB5200. So that's where we see all of our ABs coming down through there. And then as we come down, you have that same thing over here, the legend on the side right there. And then you have the artist's information, the Storm God artist, Karen Yumi Lusted. And then this canvas here, I love... So me personally, I know some people are all about the... Um, super creepy soft backed canvases i personally cannot stand those so i love 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 lazy river uh canvases because it's more of a standard canvas that you would get for painting on so it's that thicker uh it's a thicker canvas it still has the scalloped and poked edges to prevent any kind of fraying but it doesn't have that creepy soft backing that drives me bonkers because I'm a texture person. So I like this canvas. I like the, the fact that it doesn't have that felty backing. Some people don't like that. I love the lack of the felty, creepy soft backing. Uh, so it is has the waterproof backing. It's anti-fade. You don't have to, no ironing. It's wash and wear. And the, um, right down through here, uh, her uh, manufacturer does use some recycled green type process in the making of this canvas so we're going to kind of look into this piece of art this is a beautiful beautiful image it now adds like another massive square to my list of things to do but i mean this when it comes to beautiful artwork i will do squares when they are beautiful images and beautiful artwork that's kind of what it comes down to um like the one thing she also does that she can't control because this is how her manufacturer does it is it is this um you do get two sheets of the release paper or, or like the plastic cover comes in two pieces um just because you have one that comes down this way and then it's split right here in the middle uh which actually i found working on the, her kits that that actually is easy to do because i split my canvas in half work on half of it sideways and then flip it over and work on the other half so it's kind of nice that i don't have to like split down through the release paper I can just or the plastic sheeting I just work on one side flip it off rip it off and then I can like just slicing this way and I don't have to slice down the center I just kind of slice it up peel it off and do the same thing on the other side so we're going to look at these ABs I kind of already can just tell looking at them where some of them are going to be so here are our ABs so this AB5200, a lot of you would think that the AB5200 is in the background, but no, it's not. The AB5200, this white is actually going to be all along his robes. So that's what you're going to see this symbol here. It's going to be our three dot dot dots. I'm going to lower us down a little bit. So we're going to go for a little bit of a ride just to get a little bit of a closer look. So you can see some of the clarity of these symbols. So, one, I apologize for any jiggle that we get, but look at the clarity of some of these symbols here. Super easy to read. This is something that I look for is clarity of symbols, ease of reading. These are super easy to read, as you can see. And even up here, these X's with the white backing are still easy to see. Uh, and that's something that can be challenging to read sometimes are these ones right through here, but I'm not having any issues reading those. 
the one that is a little faint but I'm not it's a little bit faint is this uh, triangle sig single symbol uh, over here that's this one right here it's like a little uh, triangle or like a teepee that delta symbol but there's nothing else uh, similar to it so that one it's not like you'd it's the only symbol of that color with that shape and it's like straightforward uh, if I were to zoom you in a little bit you can woo as I try to bring you down Okay, that my camera doesn't show it up very well. It's like even harder to read with my camera. Ah, okay, we're gonna come back out a little bit because it's actually easier to see there. Uh, but you can see there are the triangle sig symbols. I keep wanting to say signal. That triangle symbol is pretty easy to read right there. Uh, nothing that's really like hard to read, really super hard to read. Uh, some of them, like the, the ones that are always tricky are these ones with the um, the white letters, but there's nothing like multiple white letters around them. So even the ones that you would be like, well, maybe it's hard to see, but they all stand out really well with what's around them. So that's something that I'm not seeing any issues as I'm going down through and looking at it. Sorry for that glare there. So I, let's go ahead and kind of take us back up a little bit. Sorry, I keep sticking my hand underneath the camera. I don't know what's up with me today with my filming. Oh, not my normal. All right. So looking at this image here, we're going to kind of come out a little bit. So that way you can kind of get the overview. So as we look at it, our white, this AB5200 here, that is going to be all this here all of his robes and also it's going to be all of this white around here the water splash that's all going to be this 80 5200 oh amazing amazing same thing coming down the reason why we have so much of it is because coming down on this image that's also going to be all of this white down here that's the ab 5200 as well so all of that water is just going to shimmer with ab that's all ab 5200 now let's go ahead and look at our, and actually those triangles that I was talking about, those are actually the AB701. So that green is going to be some of these darker greens that you see kind of scattered all around these dragons. You're gonna see this darker green all along here, darker green there, darker green all right through there. Same thing coming up the darker greens that we see scattered throughout all of our dragons, those are going to be that AB701 with that darker green. So that's awesome. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now we have our blue and our red. So our blue is going to be the symbol five and that we see kind of scattered in the water, obviously. Not surprising at all. So that's going to be these this shade here it's going to be these blues here this swath of blue right there so that's scattered all along in the water to add a little shimmer of the water i'm super excited for this i love ab's i love 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 ab's i love how much we have in here um i may add some additional like fairy dust in here we have more of that scattered throughout here right in here right over in here and there we have even more of it now let's see where our EB666 is. That's gonna be our at symbol. So the reds for that, we have all, we have kind of scattered a little bit in the dragon here, a little bit on his horns. So a little bit in the snoot uh, and a little bit in the horns. And then you see it kind of highlighting some accents in the robe and a little bit accenting kind of some of the lines of his robe uh, right there, a little bit there little bit just accenting just a little because it's just like a little splash of these ab's right along the rope so nothing that's like a massive swath that's going to be a lot of like the oranges and reds. so it's just these little like creases and swaths swatches that we're getting there's a couple right here in the mouth a couple up here in the horns a couple right there the same thing a couple there a couple there Couple more right along in here. Definitely more in the mouth of this dragon. Couple more up here in the horns. And a couple more 
just a handful right there, just a few. But that's where we have our ABs. But I am in love with this. I've got, I'm like, I'm not a dragon person per se of like standard dragons. I don't like the regular dragons that we see, but Asian dragons like this, you've now seen me unbox two separate Asian dragons on my channel. These are what speak to me when it comes to a dragon, but really it's because that very much so this style of artwork of like Asian artwork is just like, oh, love it. There's going to be plenty of confetti in here. I love the hair. The hair just looks like it's water as well. I'm super excited to work this up and see what this looks like. Oh, it's going to be really fun to do. And that's me saying this as it's a square and it's a big square. I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm actually excited to work on it. What's wrong with me? It's a massive square and I'm excited to do it. But that just shows that when you're excited for the artwork, you won't care so much about the fact that it's a massive square that's going to take me months to do. Um, if my previous flower delivery series is any kind of hint of how long it'll take me to do a square this size. But I'm like, oh my goodness. Uh, I am like loving it. But there's going to be some good places in here where, yes, there's tons of confetti in the dragons. There's tons of confetti in the storm god. But you've got big swatches of color blocking. So there's good chunks of color blocking along our border here. There's some good color blocking up here. There's some good color blocking with all of this white 5200 AB. We do have a fair, some color blocking we get to do there. And then coming down in here, this part, yes, we've got some confetti in like the shades here, but there's also a fair amount of color blocking there too. So that's going to be a nice little breather. So I am super excited. This is going to be fun and it is gorgeous. I will throw up a picture uh, as well, which I will probably have already thrown this up, but of the full image so you guys can see what this looks like because I am excited for it. It is beautiful. Super, super fun image, and I can't wait to get this. This is a beautiful piece of art. So, go ahead and check this out. It will be available on Wednesday, November 22nd. That is going to be a blast. I am, can't wait. There's another uh, beautiful piece that I will be picking up on Wednesday as well myself. So uh, have a great uh, weekend. Uh, well, have a great week, everybody, and enjoy all of the wonderful images that are going to be put out this week from all sorts of different companies for Black Friday. And if you're watching this after the fact, uh, go ahead and check it out and get it because this is gorgeous 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 love it and i will see you guys later have a great day everybody bye